loves, welcome back to our channel. This is Jerry, and for today's video, I'm going to be giving my Nintendo Switch Lite a kawaii makeover. For today's theme, I'm going with a Rilakkuma pajama party theme. Now I'm going to be using most of the items that you see here. I'm basing this theme off of the, all of these Rilakkuma pajama party items that were released by Sot X. And it was uh, these two Switch Lite cases, this Switch case, and this um, card case. And they all have this really cute pajama party theme, which is really cute. And I got all three of these cases and this card case on a website called Japan You Want, which is this cute website from Japan that has lots of um, like Nintendo accessories, gaming accessories, and it also has a ton of um, Rilakkuma items and Sanrio items. So if you're into like that cute stuff, then I would definitely check that website out. And I do have a couple of haul videos where I've um, purchased like large orders and then I showed you guys um, my order and talked a little bit about the shipping and the experience. So if you're interested in that, I'll put a link below for that, of course, too. So um, let's just get right into it. I'm going to take out my Switch Lite. And right now it's in this really cute Animal Forest themed case that I got from Geekshare and you probably saw this in one of my um, Geekshare unboxing videos and if you're not familiar with Geekshare they're a company that makes um, Switch and Switch Lite accessories. They also make actually accessories for other consoles like the Xbox and the PlayStation. I'll put their link below too if you want to check them out and so yeah they were nice enough to send me this case and I've been using it and I really really like it so that's what my switch is in right now when you open it up inside there's this pocket and this is where I've been keeping my amiibo coins and then here you can put games but I've just been using it mostly at home so I don't have any games in here I've only actually been playing one game on this device because I feel like I play the bigger switch the bigger switch I've played more games on but the switch Lite I've only played Animal Crossing on it so yeah, I've been keeping it in here and I have this really pretty skin on it from Sticky Bunny Co. And I'll put a link to their site um, in the description box. And if you want to see how I put this skin on and um, more about it, then I'll link the video where, where I customized my device and I put this skin on it. So you can see more details about how to do it and how I felt about it. But for this video, I didn't want to switch the skin out because I felt like it went really well with this theme. I'm kind of like, it has a lot of pastel pink and I really like the like pastel lilac color that's in there. So I thought that this one would go really well. So I'm going to go ahead and keep the skin. We won't be switching the skin out for this video. Um, but I will clean it up because it's a little kind of dirty because I've been using it a lot lately. And I also wanted to show you guys like on the back, I have these little scratches and stuff because I put some like paper type stickers. I don't know if you know what I'm talking about, but usually if you put like the sealed type of stickers that are plasticky, you can just peel them off really easily. But since I put paper ones, they, they ripped when I was taking it off and I ended up ripping some of the skin on the back. So that's why it looks that way. But we'll be covering it up with a case and stuff today. So don't worry about that. Anyway, first thing I'm going to do is take some wet wipes and clean the device. And these are just um, basic water wipes and I'm just gonna um, clean the back of it and the front just to make sure it's clean before we get started. Alright, now that it's clean, I think the first thing I want to do is put a case on it to protect the skin and just to protect the device from drops and stuff like that. And I'm going to be using this case, which is a clear hard case that I decorated with rhinestones and little pearl pieces and these cute little stars moons and pieces that i made out of resin so all of these i made myself and i put these cute my only series really kuma stickers in here i wanted to use pajama party series stickers but i couldn't find any for a very long time and then i finally did but they're coming from japan so they're gonna take a long time to come so i just went ahead and made myself a case with this um this series here, which is the My Only Rilakkuma series, which I thought kind of went really well with the pajama party series because they're kind of laying in bed and they're kind of lazy looking, which I thought kind of went with the pajama party thing. And I went ahead and I put like little lavender accents and stuff in it because of the little lavender in their pajamas. I thought that would bring that out. 
So yeah, if you want a case like this, I do sell them on my website. And we restock the website um, once a month. But these do sell kind of fast, so look out and we'll let you guys know usually when the next release will be so that you can try to get one for yourself. And we do make them for Switch and Switch Lite. So I'm going to go ahead and put this on. And it's a snap-on case, which just means that you put the front on like this, and then I'll flip it, and the back will just snap into place. You'll see these little areas here, and that's where it snaps in. Alright, now everything's snapped on, and that's how it looks. It covered up the areas where I had like kind of peeled up the skin, which is good. And it's really shiny and pretty and on this side this is how it looks and for me it's still really comfortable gaming with it I don't have a problem especially because when you flip it on the back I don't put anything here or here so your fingers fit pretty comfortably <laughs> comfortably you aren't like holding on to rhinestones or anything so I think it's pretty comfortable to play with and that's how it looks you have it with the device on. My switch is dying, of course, like always. And that's how cute it looks when you play around. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and put this down. And the next thing that I want to do is put some charms on it because I really love charms. So I put together this little baggie of different um, charms and grips, actually I forgot, yeah, grips that I thought would go really well with this theme. So I'm going to take them all out now and show you guys. We'll start with the um, charms and these are all charms from my website. So this is like a winged bow charm, it's got a satin bow with a bell. And a rhinestone heart on it and then different colored beads and a little clasp and that's a gold version this is a version with um, silver hardware and we have this little Kuri Lakuma rhinestone face and I actually made this one out of resin and painted it and then added all these little rhinestones to it and this is also available on our website and it comes on a strap with a little bell. And then we have a moon, which is like a white opalescent moon with pink uh, stars on it. Also has a little bell and if you don't like the sound of the bell, you can ask me to take it off for you when you order and I'll take the bell off for you. But that's the moon. And then we have these various wands. They come in these are available on our website and they're little star wands with little iridescent fragments in them. And they all have like an AB rhinestone heart in the middle, like that. And yes, I chose a pink, a purple, and a blue just to see which one I think would go with the theme best. So I have those and then I have this screen cleaner plush charm, it's a Kuri Kuma plush and the back of her head is made of a material that's made to um, clean your screen so I really like to use these in my customizations. So I brought out the Kuri Kuma one and it's on a gold ball chain which I'm going to keep because if you look at these cases they all have um, gold hardware so I'm going to try to stay with the gold hardware theme. So that being said I think I'm going to use this one and this one and maybe a pink wand like that or actually a purple wand to bring out the lavender in the design so I'm gonna go with these three I'll go ahead and put these aside now and then for the grips let's pick a pair of grips I have I have so many grips like I couldn't show them all so I just pulled out different grips that I thought would go well with this um, theme. So I got the peaches. I think those would look cute. Those are by Geek Share. And then I also was thinking maybe paws. So I have these 
different paws. I have like the round kind and then the paw, actual paw shape. And then I even have these like kind of lilac looking ones that I thought would go with the theme. So I think what I'm going to go with is the lilac because I want to bring that out. So I'm going to use... Actually, you know what? I'm going to use this kind because I haven't used this kind in a customization. And I want to try that. So I'm going to go with these full paw kind. So I'm going to go ahead and put away the thrifts that we're not using. Oh, I wanted to show these to you guys too. They're really cute newer ones that I thought they're like a jelly type of feel. I thought that was really cute. Oops, come on. But yeah, I'm going to go with the, these, the full paw. Okay, so the way that I attach the charm to the device because the device doesn't have like a hoop or an area for attaching charms is I use these little dust plugs and they're clear um, phone jack plugs or earphone jack plugs that you would usually plug into your earphone jack to keep dust and debris from going in there. So I'm going to use these that I found with a hole at the top and then I went ahead and I put a little silver hoop in it and I put a gold hoop in this one so I think I'm going to use this one today. And so I'm just going to stuff this into the earphone jack and then I'll hang my charms from the hoop right there. And if you want one of these of your own, you would just Google like clear dust plug or phone jack plug. And then you can go to like your local craft store and buy these little hoops and stick that on there with some pliers. But if you purchase a charm from our website, you can just ask in your um, order comments and I'll send you one for free. So you just push that in like that and now the little hoop is hanging from it and that's where you would connect your charms. So like this one, I would just open the lobster clasp like this and then put it, hook it onto this um, hoop like that. And now your charm is hanging like this from your device. And it looks really, really cute. That's how it looks in the front. I think it looks really cute and I really like that so I'm going to keep this one and then the next one that I'm going to put on is this um, screen cleaner so what I'm going to do is just open the ball chain like this and then stick this through the hoop and then close it again. And then that's on there now too. So now we have two cute little charms hanging from our device. So that's how the charms look on there. And this is how they look in the front. So yeah, I'm super happy with the charms. I think I'm just going to leave it like that. I was going to add this charm. Actually, yeah, I think I'm going to add it, especially just to show you guys how to add it. So with this one, I would pull the um, dust plug out like that. And then what you're going to do with the strap is kind of pinch the tip so that it's like that. And then where the o-ring is, you're going to want to push this through the o-ring like that and then you'll open the strap okay so the strap goes through the o-ring like that then you open up the strap like so and you push the whole turn through the strap and pull and that creates a little knot like that and now you have all three straps hanging from the same dust plug like so and then you can just plug it back in and now you have all of your charms and those are the three charms that i chose i think they go really well with the theme and i chose a moon and wings on my design because i feel like that went with the like dreamy pajama nighttime bedtime feel I really like that 
So next thing we're gonna do is just go ahead and put the um, the grips on the Joy Cons. So like I said, I'm gonna use these paw shaped ones. And I'm gonna put them, I think, like this. Oh no, this one has a pink paw. So I'm gonna put the pink there and I'm gonna put the white one over here by the moon. And these are a little trickier because you can't really fold them all the way back. But you're gonna fold them back as much as you can, probably like that much. And then place it over the grip like so, and then let go. I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. All right, and that's how they look. Like two cute little paw paws on your device, and I love it. There's that one, and there's that one. I feel like you still get really good movement with these on and with the case on. It doesn't really obstruct much, which I appreciate, and it looks really, really cute. I don't think these get, personally, the charms don't get in the way for me when I'm playing. So I know some people ask if the charms get in the way because they kind of just hang in the back. And I don't feel like the case gets in the way either. Okay, next thing we're going to do is the card game case. So I'm going to be using the this card game case the pajama party one and like i said i'll link that below for you guys and let's see how do we open this i think we just pulled this okay so here it is it's a really beautiful pink and it has a pajama party um image here and then the back it has a different pajama party image then you open it and on this side you can fit six games and if you open this side it's kind of like an accordion thing and you can fit six games here too so that's 12 games and what i usually like to do with these is i like to decorate the inside areas with stickers so i'm going to do that right now um, unfortunately i'm at home and i don't have a lot of my switch games with me here because i took them to my workshop for another video but I do have obviously Animal Crossing in here, so I'm going to show you how the game, your game cartridges would fit inside of the um, card case. So you would basically see how the arrows there, it tells you where your arrow would point. And this one has the arrow on the game here. So you just put it in like this and then press in and it kind of like snaps into place. And that's how you would hold your games. So I'm going to decorate the inside of mine and I'm going to use these My Only Wilakuma series. And then I have this like used sticker sheet that's also My Only Wilakuma series and I got this from inside one of those like large memo pads. So I think I'm going to use this one just because it has really like square shaped ones that would fit nicely in here. And I think I'm going to go with these two because they have like the little touch of purple that I want. So this one I'm going to grab first and I think I'm going to put it right in the middle like that just to give it a cute little like really kuma look on the inside because right now it's just pink. And I'm going to grab this silicone nail tool which is just a silicone tool for nails and I'll um, link that below too. And I'm going to use that to like kind of flatten my sticker out and make sure there are no air bubbles in it. I think that looks really good. Now when you open it, you get the little real kuma theme inside too. I'm gonna do the same thing on this side in here. I'm gonna use the other square sticker with the purple. And I'm gonna put that, ah, like I did before, right in the middle. And again with the nail tool to like smooth it out. Okay, I think that looks really good. If you open it all up, it looks like this on one side and like this on the other side. And I'm really happy with it, it's super cute. So I think we're done with that. 
Next thing I want to do is pick a case. So I'm going to put this aside. So there are, for the Switch Lite in this series, there are two cases. I'll show this to you guys now. The first one is a pouch. And this is what they usually do. Uh, well, Sonex or Rulakuma does when they come out with um, Switch accessories. They usually have a Switch Lite pouch like this, a Switch Lite hard case like this, and then a Switch hard case like this one. So this is the pouch. It has a gold hardware this time instead of silver. And then it has two different images, one on this side and one on this side. And this is really cool. Actually, I have a wrist open here. I'll show you guys in a minute. So the inside is really soft, which I like. And I like these kind of pouch cases for just carrying your Switch around home and stuff like that where you're not going to go too far with it and you just want to kind of protect the screen and protect it from small things like that and i'll show you how to use it and it still fits with the um um rhinestone hard case on it so basically it opens like this and you'll put your switch in like this from the side and zip it up like that and now it's in this protective soft pouch and i really enjoy that they make they make these i really like using this one around um home and then if you wanted to go with this pouch, you can use a wrist strap like this. And my twin sister made this one for me. She makes them for our shop. You can find these on our website. And um, basically it's fur on the inside, but it's faux fur. Don't worry, it's not real animal fur. It's dyed faux fur. This one, she chose lavender fur inside. And she's using the Rilakkuma Pajama Party themed ribbon with a silky pink lace. A silky satiny um, pink bow with a iridescent AB bead and she used gold hardware and um, so basically you would use this to hold things on your wrist usually you can attach your keys here and have your keys with you but I'm going to use this one to um, attach to my carrying pouch so I'm just gonna hook it onto the um, zipper pull like that and now I have a cute wristlet with the same theme on it if I wanted to hold my switch like this, I could, and I could hold it like this and feel secure that if it were to fall out of my hands, it would still be safely attached to my wrist. So I really like that. I'm going to take this off for a second, and then I will show you the hard case. So the hard case is this really nice soft pastel pink, and the image is printed on here has the same images the pajama party here with their pajamas and then back here they're laying on their pillow Rila Kuma, Kurila Kuma, and Kiwari Tori and it has this um these cute zipper pulls this little lavender touch here lilac touch there which I like and the brighter pink all around the zipper is really cute and you just zip it and this is a hard case so it'll offer a lot more protection especially for traveling and when you open it your switch would go in here like this and it still fits pretty well with the um, grips and with the rhinestone case in case you're wondering and then this pulls down like this and here you can store five games and here you can put anything like your earphones um amiibos uh games anything and i do believe this fits in here like this and you can even fit um your charms so i would pull the charms out like this and then put those guys in here Tuck it in really cute like that. Let Kurila Kuma hang out a little bit. Make sure she's safe. <laughs> and then you'd close it like this. And it zips up. And now everything's in there. You can carry everything with you for traveling. And it's very nicely protected. So this one's a really great option too. Personally, if you can do it, I would use the pouch and the hard case. So that's how that looks. And then you would get this cute wrist strap and I'm gonna put this on the zipper pull like I did before I'm gonna put on the outer zipper pull so that I can still open and close this without having to use this and it matches and it looks just like so cute it's perfectly matches the theme for me and then because I'm super extra you guys know that I think I also want to hang a plushie from there and this one is from the pajama party theme the release so this is a part two. I believe it was like a crane game um, prize from Pajama Party. So she has her little pajama headband. She's holding a little moon. This one's really cute. And 
I, originally I was gonna use this one but then my twin sister said that I can use this one that she got when we were in Japan which is like a super super cute one it's not pajama party themed like from that release but she is in her little pajamas and she has like a little a bear hood and it's striped lilac pink and white she has these cute little slippers and her adorable pink pillow that says Rila Kuma with the little satin and her little zipper actually unzips from her jacket and she can take the whole jacket off and I thought that was just so cute and this one's extra detailed like when you get um, plushies from Japan and they're made by Sonex in Japan they're always super detailed like this you can even hang it on like something by using this pin here and so I really like this one so I'm gonna go ahead and put this one on the um, case so I'm just gonna open it like that and I'm gonna put it in the zipper pull. actually I think I'm gonna go ahead and attach it straight to the wrist strap so that way they're kind of together like that yeah and so now I have a cute plush hanging from it and a cute wrist strap and I think that really completes the look So that's all for today's customization. Thank you guys so much for joining us for another one. Um, we appreciate all of your love and support. Do not forget to subscribe and to like this video if you want to see more, please. And in the comment section, please let us know it, what you thought about this makeover and what kind of makeover you would like to see in the future. Love you guys so much. See you in the next one. Kitty and Jerry.